The type of onion you use in your guacamole can transform the flavor of the classic dip. But is there one onion that reigns supreme? Keep watching to find out. Arch, right, I'm gonna need 10,000 veggie burritos. No guac in mine. Although guacamole is made with just a few ingredients such as avocados, hot peppers, onions, and salt, the simplicity of this dip can be a bit misleading because it's easy to make but hard to master. Surprisingly, there are many mistakes people make when attempting a guacamole recipe. Real Simple reports some secrets that are key to making a delicious and crowd-pleasing guac. To begin, you'll need only the best ripe avocados. If you're going the authentic route, the ingredients will need to be mashed with a traditional Mexican mortar called the mocajete. The time and power spent muddling your avocado depends solely on whether you prefer a smooth or chunky dip. And even though it's not one of the authentic ingredients, a squeeze of lime juice will bring a zesty flavor to your bowl of guac. It also extends the shelf life, so why not shake things up a bit? The right onions, however, can have a massive impact on the final result of your guacamole recipe. Traditionally, white onions are the most common option, giving sweetness and freshness to the dip. Still, you can opt for red onions, which have a bolder, spicier flavor. Yellow onions, on the other hand, should be, as HuffPost explains, rinsed under hot water to get rid of any bite before adding it to the recipe. Once you've mastered the quick and easy guacamole recipe, it's not a bad idea to pair the dip with a margarita on the side. Apart from white, red, and yellow onions, there are other types of onions that you can add to your guacamole, and each one brings a different flavor or texture to the popular dip. A scallion is an immature onion that either hasn't yet formed a bulb or has a partial one. Although they are often used as a garnish for other dishes and prized for their crunch, scallions can also be grilled, finely chopped, and then mashed with other ingredients in order to make a bowl of guac. You also might be wondering what the difference is between shallots and onions. Shallots are used in the same way as onions or scallions, finely minced or mashed with the other ingredients, roasted or raw. However, they add an intense flavor to guacamole, so if you've never used them in the recipe before, try starting with a small amount. I really don't like them. Mm -mm. No, I don't. If you're hesitant or still undecided, your best bet might be the addition of mild-flavored sweet onions, such as Vidalia, Walla Walla, or Maui. All three types are similar in flavor, and these varieties hold a lot of water. This allows the strong flavors to become watered down, ensuring the guacamole will have a mild but distinct taste. But who says guacamole is always made with onions? Even though garlic is not a part of traditional guacamole, some people like to use it instead of onions. A bulb of garlic is much smaller than an onion, but it packs a powerful flavor. And while onions are typically used raw when making guacamole, garlic is most commonly cooked before consumption. This is especially important when using it in the creamy dip, because its sharpness is reduced at high temperatures. The garlic also comes out tasting sweeter after it's cooked. Aside from being an excellent substitute for onions and guacamole, the Cleveland Clinic reports that garlic has numerous health benefits, including antifungal and antibacterial properties. This is yet another reason to add it to your next batch of guac. With such a wide array of options, some might be overwhelmed and choose to skip the onions and garlic altogether. Most recipes for guacamole without onions are made with a simple combination of avocados, lime juice, jalapenos, and salt. The guacamole won't have the same oniony bite and sweetness, but jalapenos will give it the spicy kick that the dip deserves. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.